Very important question. Mm -hmm. Do you even vape, bro? <laughs>
how do you start a business in a completely different industry when you're used to one? Like, what's the biggest? Well, honestly, thing I didn't have much experience with car audio. Okay. And then the the owner who used to own this, he was like, "I'm gonna train you for a month, okay. and I'll tell you all about car audio." Well, my okay. dad knew everything about uh, like smoke shop industry and everything because he's been experiencing that like ten years. Right, right. So he was, I was good on that side, but on the car stereo, I was like. I'm blind. Okay. I so got you, he got told you. me basically like all the in and outs are, what is the most profitable things, what are more margins with. And well, we are a uh, dealer with Focal and JL Audio. Okay. So that kind of helps us out because there's only like three dealers in Houston. Uh, and then people who wants like high end kind of mm -hmm. the market of the car audio, they come for like these brands. And when you go on these brands website, our store comes on there. So kind of helps okay. us out. All right, so then, so then it seems like having making sure you have a mentor then mm -hmm. uh, was a was a big part of. Well, it. yeah, it, yeah, it, true, it, true, true. Because your dad had all that knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, For both you. sides, I kind of have my mentors to uh, teach me okay. about like both sides of industry, you know. Aside from that, uh, and then we'll get into some mm -hmm. smoke shop related mm -hmm. questions. But aside from that, if you were to give advice to someone on how to start a business, like aside from the mentorship, like. What would be like one key thing that would be like, this is what you should do when you're thinking about how to start a business? Well, you need to definitely learn how to market. Okay. Marketing is a big, big key in here because yeah. um, there was like three other smoke shops around me yeah, in my yeah. zip code and the way I tackled it, well, I kind of like mess with the marketing industry, like yeah. the companies who like market the, uh, like do Google ads, like Facebook marketing. Yeah. I tried with them for three months, but most of them were basically like taking my money, not doing the work. Okay. And I was not getting much results. That's not good. But the one thing I learned was more reviews I was getting, the more my listing was going up. Uh, so I focused, I give like an incentive on my getting reviews. So every yeah. customer I give, comes in, I give him like a CBD incentive. Like I'll give uh, you a free CBD candy if you leave me a review. Oh, cool. So right. that jumped up my reviews. Like I think I have like 200 reviews now, all five star. Oh, all right. And then. Is. I beat like three smoke shops in my area, so, yeah. so I'm number one all around my zip code. Oh wow! And even on Houston, on Yelp, yeah. I didn't even do my listing on Yelp, and they put me, I think, like fourth on like Houston smoke shop. So okay. that's pretty cool. So basically, make sure your advertising is on point, mm -hmm. and your customer care is. Mm -hmm. Oh, cu and customer service. Right, Cus right. Customer service, you gotta be super honest to your customer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in car audio industry, the one thing I learned: if you're honest to customer. They're gonna come back. They're gonna come back with more customers. Right, if you try right. to sell them and get one time trying to get money out of them, you'll win that one time. Right, but right. after that, you're just cut out because as soon as they go to another shop, they find out that you're not telling the truth. And yeah, basically. I got you. I got you. Got mm -hmm. you. Um, and if someone's looking to start like a smoke shop that's watching this right now, like I know there's a lot of stuff in here, mm -hmm. a lot to, lot to, lot to get stocked up. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, but. What would you say, like capital-wise, someone would need to really even think about? Well, nowadays it depends how you want to target your smoke shop. Like uh, my dad, he kind of focused on diversity, so kind okay. of keep everything. Right, right. So you don't know what kind of customer you're going to get. So okay. the best thing is to get everything, like in not in the most quantity. A lot of smoke shops sometimes they focus on waves. Sometimes they focus on their glass pieces. Right. But as long as you have a variety, you kind of like tackle all of them. So gotcha, that gotcha. kind of works out. For capital wise, I would say like around 80, 80 to 100K okay. to like start to like putting the merchandise because the merchandise can be expensive, right, you know, right. depending on your vendors and where you're buying from. Got a lot you. of people get a ship top from uh, New York, California, uh, okay. and yeah. I got you. So around mm -hmm. 80, 80, 100 mm -hmm. or so. Speaking of vapes, by the way, I heard you say that obviously in there. Yeah. Uh, very hot topic. Uh, what are your thoughts on, you know, the fact that? They obviously aren't FDA approved, mm -hmm. but they've been just like coming off the shelves. Mm -hmm. uh, and also the, the FDA has mm -hmm. said, hey, look, like we're not sure about this. And then the recent things that are happening with, uh, I guess there's been a couple deaths or what have you. Um, but how, how do you see all that? What do you think about all that? Well, honestly, the, the, the vape scare, how we call it, we really got affected by it yeah. because we used to have a wide variety of vape and vape juices. Yeah. And the whole, like our sales probably cut down for like 40% just yeah. after that. But the reason that was happening because um, this um, cartridges, basically THC cartridges, 
they had like they were making fake ones mm. and they had pesticides in them oh, and wow. the, the deaths were related to those and they uh, kind of tried like the tobacco companies try to like um tackle like the vape industry okay. so basically saying that is because of vapes and try to um jewel okay, jewel was jewel, really right, big right, they right. they banned all the flavors right now so right. they used to have like a 15 billion dollar market share it's less than 2 billion now right right so in a yeah. year they ran all the way up to That's 15 crazy. billion to like 2 billion so now. the one the recent uh news that we've heard is mm -hmm. based around ones that had pesticide in them is yeah, that okay, yeah. Wow. That's that's why it was going to ban, and then yeah, yeah. Trump came and he said, "No, I'm not gonna ban it." So yeah, yeah. because he knew because they cannot just ban the whole vape industry; it's too big. Yeah. First of all, and then cigarettes are like people are switching more from cigarettes because like tar yeah. taste yeah. and bunch of like smell. People yeah, just yeah. don't like that. So nowadays, mostly people are like from Jew. When they cut down the flavors, now they're going to disposables, basically. Uh, okay. So they're like disposable vapes. You basically yeah. smoke it 400 times and you just... 400 yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, 400 puffs still, yeah. Uh, what was, Throw it away. I was going to say, uh, so do you think it's kind of similar to how the tobacco industry started, though, when mm. kind of they didn't have it regulated? And now well, how started. the tobacco industry started, well, it was all it was all like good because yeah, yeah. it doesn't do anything to you. Exactly. You remember those ads, right? Yeah, 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 you yeah. see them, you can go back on YouTube and watch them yeah. like, oh, everything's good. Yeah. Um, cigarettes are good for your health and everything, but yeah, yeah. come to find out, it gives you cancer. Do you think cancer. it'll be like similar with vapes? Or? Um, no, because they have more studies behind it now. Okay. Because, um, mostly well how medical has advanced so yeah, they yeah. kind of do their testing and right, right. tobacco industry put some does put some money in them try but, to cut down the vape industry so right, right. I, got mm -hmm. you, I got you the got you. funny thing is like the flip and morris the biggest tobacco company they own most of the vape industry too oh, so it's wow. a monopoly so they control that's, the whole market so kind of always a monopoly <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I, ch I always tend to play with the battleship when I play Monopoly, mm -hmm. so that's my favorite piece. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, another question about your pro products, by the mm -hmm. way. Um, had a question uh, basically about what's your, like, what's your biggest seller for cigars, um, flavors for tobacco or vapes or what have you? Honestly, right now, it's those disposable vapes because mm -hmm. the okay. whole jewel, the reason though the kids basically i would say from teenagers to like um like 28 to 30 mm -hmm. that was the main uh, target for the companies right, right. and that's how they advertise their target too right. and they came on jewel and the difference between jewel and cigarettes are cigarettes only have like 3 mg per cigarettes nicotine yeah, yeah. and the jewels have 50 mg oh, so wow. way way higher nicotine so these kids are addicted <laughs> basically that's, that's, that's i don't control that but that's what it happened yeah, and yeah. then they basically can go back to cigarettes, so they need some same kind of amount of nicotine. Right. So, so the whole and then they ban the uh, flavors on Juul, so you only have tobacco flavors, uh, and then the other disposable they have flavors in them. Uh, so the so reason is that they move from all the, like the pod system, everything they move to the those uh, the disposables one. So hey guys, one more interruption. I have two things for you. Real quick, if you have any questions for Obed that have not been answered in this podcast, just put them in the comments below and either he or myself will make sure to answer them. Of course, from uh, his information, I'm going to ask him those questions. I'm not just going to try to answer them myself since I do not own a smoke shop. Number two, I will also be on episode 13 interviewing Dave of replay games which is a retro game store he also sells new games as well so anything video game related those questions i'll make sure to have on the newest episode ask those questions in the comments below and you should see them on episode 13 with dave speaking of, speaking of teens by the way and recently they changed it to 21. Mm -hmm. um, how has that affected business have you seen you know, a lot of people coming in where you, where you got to watch out for. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. How, yeah. Even that right effect? after that, I even had some uh, cops, just not even cops. They're like, they're kind of testing me out if I yeah. do it or not. So yeah, they yeah. were sending a kid yeah. and we denied him. And the cop came in and he said, basically, oh, well, we were just testing you all. And then, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I, yeah. Well, they send everybody that um, there's a, what's it called? The age limit. Yeah. So, but the thing is, as long as you're born after September, when you turned 18 mm, of last year, you can, yeah, the grandfather rule. So uh, basically, okay, yeah. um, you can still buy the 
even if you're 19 right now you can still buy them uh, but some people yeah okay. if you don't if you don't have to follow it like gas stations and stuff they don't even want to i heard do that it. was that grandfather rule was taken away though really yeah i don't know i'm not sure <laughs> but <laughs> well, I'm i haven't, the person, I haven't got so. a notice yet so oh, okay yeah, oh, so probably. they have to send notice to you and so yeah yeah yeah, so yeah. Okay, yeah I because you. i got a letter from um because we have a tobacco license so oh, everybody who has a tobacco license okay, okay. they send you a so letter that saying that just hairsay or someone was saying something maybe okay, okay. probably on the news but you so. guys would have to be alerted specifically. oh yeah most of the time i i I do 21. I don't even go ahead. Yeah. I don't count my numbers. Like, yeah, yeah. oh wow, you were born before that. You're so just like, like no, yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. So that's probably what I. I what get I a lot of people trying trying to test me and everything. I'm like, it's not worth to go in that because once your license is away, you cannot do anything. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah, cannot yeah, run a smoke course. shop for a for a small twenty dollar or ten dollar buy. You know, I'm not risking my yeah, whole license. So course. it's not worth it. Of you course, know. Of Plus morally, I don't feel right to give it a teenager especially like a thing like jewel or because high on nicotine yeah. you get super addicted and it's not good for you so. okay so in general you've always kind of just looked out for the yeah of course of course yeah. of course um so uh oh real quick about that did that 21 age limit cover everything around the tobacco as well glassware and all that as well mostly so everything's yeah. covered too yeah got you, got you. yeah so any yeah. small like paraphernalia or got related you. anything yeah basically so, so now your whole store is almost. 20. Yeah, because you have to enter here to be twenty-one. Right, yeah, right. I got you. Yeah, it yeah. makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. Can't have fun anymore. So. <laughs> no, no more. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh, the thing I really wanted to ask mm -hmm. before. I said, what, um, what should you not say in a Texas smoke shop? What can you not say? Well, um, a shop? lot of common for like water pipe. They're yeah. called water pipes, yeah. not bongs. Uh, you cannot yeah, say bongs yeah, in yeah, here. Okay. You cannot say any name of the drugs or anything or like that. If you say any of that, we gotta kick you out. You kick them out. Yeah, okay. because they're used for tobacco. So right, yeah. of course, I got you. So, What's the wildest story you've had like that where someone comes in just? Someone comes in. Uh, well, they come in. They don't say it. They show me a picture of it. They're like, I want it for this, and and oh I'm like, God. oh wow. I'm like, okay. Um, I have to ask you to leave. And then, yeah. So let's be very clear. This smoke mm -hmm. shop is for tobacco and tobacco mm -hmm. and vape-related products. Yeah. Products, okay. 100%. Yeah, and you definitely don't want to mess around with that either because then <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. you lose your license and then you... You lose your license, you're going to be in trouble. Maybe you get a fine, especially if you sold it to a, like a minor. Yeah. You'll get a hefty fine because they might sue me. Their parents might sue me uh, and saying that wow. because you sold it to my kid, now he's addicted and then yeah. there's a whole lawsuit. So this is a very delicate it. industry mm -hmm. for the most part. So yeah, you have to be really People careful. always trying to come and at especially you. like teenagers, they, they're, they're the one that go into those mostly smoke shops. So you got to really watch out, you know. I they might you. bring their friends, their friends st standing outside. Like liquor store, same I would say, but yeah, yeah, the yeah. smoke shop is more common because a lot of people, we have more stuff than just like alcohol. Right, right. So people might try to get different, different stuff. So that's I fine. got you. I got you. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Well, uh, I know we those are kind of the cooler questions. And I think mm -hmm. I had another one, but I can't remember it uh, right now off the top of my head. Very, oh, sorry. Very important question. Mm -hmm. Do you even vape, bro? <laughs> Do I vape? <laughs> I used to vape. And then the nicotine just like kind of it's not good for you honestly yeah, yeah yeah it gives you a shake and i when i tried the jewel and kind of was addicted to it then i had to cut it out because it was just not working out it would get me dizzy and it's honestly it's not a good thing to have it on you know it takes money it's worse than cigarettes i would say okay so yeah got you but you're here to <laughs> yeah. meet the demand I, I know i know how it works and everything works so i yeah, know I the, you, all the you. knowledge about it so yeah got you got you mm -hmm. so, so you're almost like <laughs> recommending against your own business <laughs> <laughs> well i won't but it is what it is basically yeah yeah honestly when someone even buying something that i'm like they're not going to use it in a good way i kind of give them like don't yeah, do yeah, it. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah. Okay, so For someone honest, who comes in and they're like a regular and then they, I know kind of, so I kind of like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah. For the most part, you're always mm -hmm. pretty straightforward. Yeah, of course, of course. Because you know it yourself. Yeah, of course. And you also tell them <laughs> what not to say. Yeah, I care about shop. my customers, <laughs> so I like, yeah, I really yeah. watch out for them. I like, got you. Because if someone's coming in here and I don't feel like they're okay, they're like kind of like walking around weird and yeah, everything. Yeah. So I got to tell you. them, yeah. So you watch out for your customers. Of course, so that's of course. going back to customer service. Yeah, 100%, as, as 100%. You know, as it is with There's everything. people that come in and one time this guy came in and he couldn't even walk around. He was asking for a torch and the other like a a oil burner. A oh. torch. Yeah, and I was like, I can't help you out, man. Even though like, 
I know you're like okay to buy and he was like I'll pay you and he was just like here's my money and everything yeah, yeah. like I'm sorry man yeah. and I actually <laughs> been in the bag gave him my water make yeah. him sit down right, right, yeah right, and right. I was like okay you're good to go and he was like yeah I'm good thank yeah. you man he like, said he said thank you and he just left so I was like so if you need hydration <laughs> yeah. Stop by Memorial Workshop <laughs> yeah, as got well. Got your free water. <laughs> got your free water. <laughs> That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, so, so back to kind of like the business side. I know running two different businesses. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you have it all in the back of your mm -hmm. head. But how do you, how do you successfully kind of just jump from one hat to the other like seamlessly? Uh, as in like, like, like smoke shop then car stereo, smoke shop then car stereo. Well. Very um, different industries. That's true. Um, well, I don't come. Well, I did as my for my business. I did combine them as a business. So I yeah, made yeah. the memorial as a corporation and put this one as a DBA. Uh, so I combined okay. the revenue. So kind of helps me out in taxes and everything. Right, right. But as in jumping out to different industries, I gotta just watch out and have two brains basically yeah, yeah, target yeah. other because there are two different customers honestly. But I get some customers. They'll be in the uh, what's it called stereo. And they'll yeah. come to my smoke shop, and I had some smoke shop customers go to my stereo business. Uh, there you go. So yeah, some people, Cross I guess, yeah, who smoke, they like to get nice stereos too. So they I like to listen you, to nice you. music. So yeah. So what's uh, so Abed, what's uh, what's next for the Memorial conglomerate? What's more, um, I'm thinking of opening another location for the smoke shop. Okay. Because I think it helps me out as a revenue wise too. And if I have like merchandise, it mm -hmm. kind of, I can buy more in a bulk, so mm -hmm. it kind of lowers my cost. So that's it's a competitive market, yeah. honestly. It's a super competitive market because because of gas stations they're trying to get into the smoke shop industry too. Because gas stations basically will try to sell yeah. anything, get their hands on. So yeah, yeah. and they do get a, a lot of customers for tobacco and everything. Okay. So probably open another location. For stereo wise, I'm probably more marketing, I would say. Right. Tax season is about to come up, so that's our, our biggest season basically. So we get right. our most sales out of our tax season. So yeah, 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 yeah. I got you, I got mm -hmm. you. So and of, of course since you already have that experience mm -hmm. on how to start a business with two different businesses, yeah. it should be fairly fairly yeah, easy yeah. for you. It was hard in the like it was a learning curve, big learning curve because yeah, it was yeah. my first business, but um, like permits and everything, getting the occupancy license and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pretty good now because I learned a lot. I met a lot of people who are in the industry and they tell you the loopholes and everything. Yeah, yeah. So it really helps you out, you know. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Having those mentors, having those people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. True, so true. So. Well, man, um, I don't want to take too much more of your day. I appreciate well, you coming honestly, on. Honestly, thank you for coming. Um, I know you did wait for me yeah. for a long time. So, <laughs> well, yeah. we, were, we were mixing things yeah, in, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. glad we finally caught yeah. each other. Uh, Obed, it was, it was awesome, a pleasure, awesome. man. You and, too, uh, too. Once again, if you want to come by Memorial Smoke Shop or Memorial Car Stereos, it is off of Gessner uh, in Long Point, right, right, not too far from I-10. Yeah, uh, not too far from I-10. Uh, if you go on I-10, like Gessner, that's the first smoke shop. You want to probably hit. Yeah. So, and just yeah. remember what not to say in Texas smoke shop. Uh, anything yeah. to get you in trouble will not <laughs> yeah. be tolerated, uh -huh. uh, and you will be promptly asked to leave. Yeah. So, oh, and always free water. Oh, true. All right, see you guys later. Right. Hey guys, one more interruption. I have two things for you. Real quick, if you have any questions for Obed that have not been answered in this podcast, just put them in the comments below, and either he or myself will make sure to answer them. Of course, from uh, his information, I'm going to ask him those questions. I'm not just going to try to answer them myself since I do not own a smoke shop. Number two, I will also be on episode 13 interviewing Dave of replay games which is a retro game store he also sells new games as well so anything video game related those questions i'll make sure to have on the newest episode ask those questions in the comments below and you should see them on episode 13 with dave